Olympus. Destroyer of fate. Cruel destroyer. Bringer of war. Weapon of the gods turned against his creators. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. We're in our own minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind. <laughs> this place almost looks familiar but different like a confused memory rather hostile memory at that these fates should know i will not be deterred consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! <laughs> Well, 
get another gift of Fimblewinter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. How very dare you! Babbling! My boy. Alter, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here. Wait! Falter, come back! Talk to me! Imagine them thinking I had any desire to be back on this itchy carcass. I'm quite serious, brother. Come and collect me. Let me seek then. Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. You served Odin from the day you left that to the day he put you in that tree! You sought his favor! You wanted his wrath! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave him a day until you turned on you! I know, Seagram. It's true of all of it. But for love of you, I became a better man, a counselor, a peace, an ally to all of you. Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scotty? To Groot? Or to Tanya? No! You all took the side of the power of men! You used it! Mother, watch out! There's more of them! Even now, you see a violent guy in me, and you can't help but aid him! You call him brother! It's who you are! It's who you are! And it's who you It is not her. No. Of course. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mumir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! <laughs> Why can you trust your own son? Take me! Again! Why wouldn't you see him the way he wants to be seen? I don't want him to pass! 
That's all I have to do. And now he's mine. He killed his own family. The trap. I am here. the test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. Here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see. What all who search for us seek to know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. 
that your choices are so predictable merely make us seem prescient. When my son was born, oh, shut up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. Hmm.